In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an animated callout title in After Effects. Those are very useful for tracking specific objects in the video. So hopefully you like it. If you do, please do not forget to leave a like and enjoy the video. Let's begin by creating a new composition. I'll name it Render 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second. Click OK. Then click here and enable title and action save to be more precise. Then click and hold the shape tool, select the ellipse tool. Then click on the word fill, set it to none. Then click on the word stroke and set it to a solid color and give it width of 5 pixels. Then zoom into the composition. And from the center of the composition, make sure you're holding Ctrl and Shift and create a simple ellipse like this. Which I'm going to rename to dot to stay organized because we'll have quite a few layers later on. Now select the pen tool and I'm going to zoom out a bit. And you can make this go to any direction you want. I'll make it go to the top right. So I'm going to click a point right here. Then holding shift, I'll click somewhere around here and here. So this, is, this will create a simple line, which I'm going to rename to line one again to stay organized. Then click away and let's create a second line. So maybe somewhere around here to here. And I'm going to rename this one to line two. Now I'm going to switch to the selection tool, then I'm going to select the line 2 and adjust its position to, to be closer to the line 1, so we don't have any gaps. Now I'm going to click and hold the shape tool, select the rectangle tool, then click on the word fill, set it to a solid color. Click on the word stroke, set it to none, we don't need any stroke. And just create a simple rectangle like this. I'm going to rename it to PH1, short for the placeholder. Then I'm going to open the rectangle 1 properties, go to the rectangle path 1, and check in from scaling and set size to be 400 by 90. You can use any other values if you want. I just found these ones to be very comfortable to work with. Now select the PH1 layer, select the pen behind tool and move this anchor point closer to the line 2 that you have. So in my case, I'll place it to the left side. So once you do that, make sure you switch back to the selection tool. You can slightly adjust the position. Then make sure you are selecting the PH1 layer. Go to edit, duplicate or press Ctrl D as a shortcut and move the duplicate layer down like this. Now you can see that the line 2 isn't long enough, so it doesn't look nice to me. So I'm going to select the line 2, press S on the keyboard and check uniform scaling. And I'm going to play around with the Y size until it matches. So once that is out of the way, we can proceed to adding text. For that, we're going to select the type tool and type anything you want. I'm using integral bold, black color. I'm going to type motion and place the word inside of the placeholder, like this. Then I'm going to place the, the word above the placeholder 1, just to stay organized. Then I'm going to create a second word, so in this case I'll type graphics, and place the text inside of the placeholder 2, and we're going to fix this later, it's not a big deal. So just place the text over there. So far we've created the final look of our callout title, let's now proceed to animating it. I'm going to expand the properties for the dot layer, Click on the Add button and add trim paths. So now make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline. Expand the trim paths and create a keyframe for end and set it to 0%. Move 10 frames forward and set end to 100%. Now select the trim paths one and press Ctrl C to copy it. Then go to 5 frames. Select the line one layer and press Ctrl V to paste the trim paths in here. Now we're going to do the same with the line two but move to 10 frames. Then select the line 2 and press Ctrl V to paste the trim paths in here. So we're going to offset every animation by 5 frames and then we're going to fix the speed and everything at the end. Now move the playhead to 15 frames. That would be 5 frames forward compared to the previous layer. Select the placeholder 1 and press S on the keyboard. Also select the text above it and press P to bring up position. And create keyframes for position and the scale at 15 frames. Now when check the uniform scaling and set X size to be 0%, also increase the Y value for the position of the text to bring it down like this, go forward 10 frames, increase the scale of the placeholder, then bring the text back up to where it's visible, place it inside of the placeholder, and then adjust the scale accordingly to where you like it. Now we're going to do the same with the other placeholder and the text. First move to 20 frames, select PH2 layer, press S, Select the text above it, press P, create keyframes for both, and check uniform scaling, set scale to be 0%. Increase the Y value for the second text to bring it down, then move forward by 10 frames. Increase the scale for the placeholder, then follow it up by bringing the text back. So place it inside the placeholder, and now adjust the scale accordingly to where you like it. So something like this would do. 
We've created the animation, but if we preview it, you can see that it looks flat and lacks smoothness that we're going to add right here and right now. So let's expand this up, then press U two times to reveal the keyframes. I'm going to drag and select them all, right click any of them, keyframe assistant is easy, so just press F9 as a shortcut. Let's say you wanted to extend the duration of this animation to be 2 seconds long. Let's place the playhead to 2 seconds and make sure that all the keyframes are selected. And click and hold the Alt key on the keyboard. Make sure you're holding it and then drag on the furthest keyframes to the right. So it'd be either one of these two. So just click and drag them out. You can see that evenly extends all the keyframes. So just place the last two keyframes, these ones, to 2 seconds mark. That will evenly slow down the previously added animation as you can see so it looks a lot more smoother now one thing i like to do is add a bit snappiness to the text so i'm going to hold the control key and select both positions for the texts only then go to the graph editor right click make sure in edit speed graph drag and select the, all the points and drag the slider all the way to the left exit the graph editor to preview as you can see, that adds quite a bit of snappiness to the text, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. We've created the animation, but there's one little thing left to do here. If we toggle transparency grid, you'll see that the text is there prior to everything else uh, animating. And we obviously do not want that. We want the text to be visible once the placeholders have animated. And we can fix that by adding set matte effect to both text layers. Then head over to the effect controls and right here where it says take matte from layer, click the drop down and select the layer that the text is above. So PH1 layer would be the case for the first text and for the, the second text you're going to select the PH2 layer. And once you do that you'll see that the text is no longer visible prior to the placeholders animating and that's exactly what you want. Let's toggle the transparency grid again and preview our callout title animation. As you can see, pretty smooth and simple callout title animation done here inside of After Effects. And as you can see, we've made the dot to be right in the center of the composition. So if you were to use this callout title composition to track specific objects in a video that, well, that's what you want the callout titles for, it would be really easy for you to place it and, you know, adjust the position of it right where you want it. So if you're interested how to track the objects in a video and, you know, adjust the, the color titles to them, I have a tutorial that I'll link in the description, also in the card right here, so you can go ahead and check it out. And uh, that pretty much is the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed or learned something new. If you did, please do not forget to leave a like. That really helps out the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.